Hi, and welcome to Fuel to My Love By, the safe space on the internet where we read old classics and we talk about retro style, indie, and imperfect things. So, I have been watching way too much Jane Jones. I can't help it. Her content is amazing. And one of the most recent ones is going to new quiz and doing strange little quizzes. So, I kind of wanted to see if there's anything with or a dream core related that might be lurking on new quiz and I was not disappointed. I found two quizzes and I'm excited to go through them with you today. Uh, so clearly this video <laughs> has been entirely stolen from Strange Aeons, so I'll be linking her video down below. You should go and check her out, you should go and watch her. She's amazing, and I'm sure you guys already know that. I know, I'm sure she you watch her and everything. So yeah, let's get right in. So the first quiz I'm going to be entering is what weird core slash dream core vibe are you? Warning, this quiz contains topics such as depersonalization, derealization, death, paranoia, and other depressing topics, as well as a brief mention of drugs and images of hyper-realistic eyes. Proceed at your own risk. I don't own any of the images in this quiz. This is not meant to be accurate. More to just give you a vibe for fun. Enjoy. Alright, so if there's any particular image that I personally feel is causing me distress or is causing me to feel weird in such a way, I'm most likely going to blur it out in editing. So if there's a blurred out image or, you know, a cropped image or something, yeah, it's probably because of that. Uh -huh. And I suppose at this point, perhaps since it is dealing with a lot of these issues, if you are affected by things like you know death, paranoia, depersonalization, derealization, perhaps this is not the video for you. So maybe come back tomorrow. I'll have another video out for you. Uh, don't feel pressure to stay. Um, I love you. You're my darling, and I want you to be well. So. As I recommended to one of you guys, there's always Kitten Academy. Kitten Academy is a live stream where they just stream kittens 24 hours a day. Just go there and just watch some kittens being adorable. Alright, um, having said that, let us get into the quiz. Alright, so my name, I'm gonna put I I, and then let's start the quiz. The quiz is by Jeannie. Alright, to choose a time of day, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. when everything is bright and sunny, 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. when things become hazy, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. when I finally feel at ease, 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. when I can't sleep, 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. when spirits come out to play, 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. when I'm on the border between two worlds. Yeah, I don't really like to linger around 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. or 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. in particular. Mm, I would say my favorite time of the day is 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Yes, I like that. Choose an image. Ooh, we have seen, oh, we've seen the top two, but I haven't actually seen these two. I love this misty playground. I love that. You've been here, but do you remember how to leave? Ooh. Oh, that's cool. That's strange. I really like playgrounds. I'm going to choose this one. But playgrounds like this when there's nobody there. And it's at like dusk or dawn, or twilight hours. Just sitting there, just chilling. I like that. What sounds most like a dream you have had? Okay. I often have reoccurring dreams. Oh, sorry. I often have recurring dreams. 
There is always something off about it. I am scared yet intrigued. Is it trying to tell me something? Through an endless hallway of doors and staircases, I am being chased by something. I cannot tell what. I run, but I don't move. I scream, but nothing comes out. I am with my loved ones in an indoor amusement park. The rides are so colorful. I can hear people singing, but I can't make out the words. It's so vivid, I forget that I'm dreaming. It feels like my everyday life. Unusual things happen, yet I never seem to notice. I am watching a fun, elaborate story unfold. When I wake up, I want to fall asleep again and return to it. I can't tell if I'm me or if I'm someone else. I can never remember my dreams, only feelings and passing shadows. It's so weird that none of these are like my dreams. Let me see if there's one that's slightly close. I guess this one. I am with my loved ones in an indoor amusement park. The rides are so colorful. I can hear people singing, but I can't make up the words. Yeah, but my dreams are not like this. These are very nice dreams. The hallway doors are being chased by something. I can't tell what I remember. But I don't know. I scream, but nothing comes out. Mm, not really. I guess this one. I'm watching a fun, elaborate story unfold. No, not really. (laughs) I'll go with this one. Next. Love you. What comes to mind when you see this image? Happiness, confusion, filth, hallucinations, the 2000s nightmares. I think um, it's something about the rat's eyes and the overwhelming pink you know it's just very creepy to me I would say confusion I don't know why it's supposed to be happy but just to me in particular or maybe to you too I'm not sure it just feels a little bit odd Alright, which song lyric resonates with you the most? Have we met before? Possibly in Michigan, in some strange department store. We won't see him anymore. By Karen Scalad Danny, Animal Animal Cannibal. I haven't heard of that one. They eat the memory of all you have known. They eat your heart. They eat your soul. It's the dawning of the age of the worm, bow down to the worms, by Joe Wong, Worm Master. Heartaches, heartaches, my love for you and only heartaches. Your kiss was such a sacred thing to me, I can't believe it's just a burning memory. All bowling heartaches. I feel so funny these days, I'd rather sleep than stay awake. Trees used to talk to me, now I know what's real and what's fake. Kira, Kira, Bonita, I'd rather sleep. But there's cars coming closer and I think they're trying to run me over, poison in my food and putting drugs in my water. There's ghosts in my house, I can taste blood in my mouth. Cave, to- cave town poison. I love what I can't see, what's expected of you, what's expected of me. Now it's quarter to three, let it all get away. Jack Starver, dead weight. I actually think the one that resonates with me the most is this one. They eat the memory of all you have known. They eat your heart. They eat your soul. It's the dawning of the age of the worm. Bow down to the worm. Choose a liminal space. Oh my goodness. I think I'd immediately just navigate like I'm, I'm drawn to the playground the most because 
everything else freaks me out. Gosh, this suburban nightmare, this underground maze, this basically chamber of darkness, this isolated world, and then this nightmare warehouse. I'm choosing, yeah, I'm, I'm choosing the playground again. Though that may be the worst because it looks isolated and there could be things hiding in the slides. How do you feel about your own mortality? I have said to many people many things, but today, today I want time. I can't say the same about tomorrow or the same about yesterday, but today I want time. Choose the color pad that resonates the most with you. Ooh. 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 Okay, all right. Uh, I guess this one. Yeah, that one. Next. Choose a drug. Oh no, I've never tried any of that. Uh, I, I guess I've tried alcohol. I've tried alcohol. I don't drink. I don't drink anymore. I tried it a long time ago. And I suppose if I try any of this <laughs> ever again, it will most likely be alcohol. Choose an image. Everything is a lie. You're not real. Nothing is real. Wake up. Mm, the eyes. Oh goodness, is that really a cake? A cake with... Oh no, it's a cake though. That's not fair. I love cake. I love cake. You're gonna put cake in front of me. You're gonna ask me to choose an image. I'm gonna choose cake. That is entirely the basis of my decision. <laughs> what do you fear most? Being lonely in my own mind, the unknown, being left behind, losing what's important to me. Definitely losing what's important to me. How do you feel about this image? Hmm? I feel kind of like why? Yeah, it gives me a bad feeling. It's okay, I guess. I want this to be my home. It's unreal and serene. I'm too happy. It feels familiar. I feel like it's like an exhibition space. And I just wonder why are the mushrooms different sizes? Are they moving towards me? Are they strategically placed there for a reason? Are they like steps? Why is it that I can see above the wall? Is this an exhibition space? What is going on? That's why it gives me a bad feeling. Yeah, it just seems odd. You meet your maker. What do they look like? I see a beautiful angel of light. She grabs my hand and leads me to paradise. There is no such thing. I'm staring into an endless and forgiving void. It's not a person. I don't know what it is. It's a big and vast and beyond my understanding. I'll be too scared to open my eyes. I see the world and the universe in its entirety. Everything I have lost and everything I do not have, it's all here. Someone I recognize from some long ago lifetime. They welcome me with open arms. I'm glad to see them again. Yeah, I think it's the last one. Choose a cursed image. <laughs> oh. oh, these are all, oh, oh. Oh, I get goosebumps. Ah, oh, when I when something really ah. Uh. Oh, these all look awful. These are all awful images, and I'm supposed to choose one. Oh no! Oh no! No! Oh gosh! Oh, I don't want to think about any of this. This all makes me so feel odd, 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 odd. Why is that boy huddled in the corner with slices of bread? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna choose the deer. I'm sorry, I'm choosing the deer. 
I don't know what's going on with the rest, but at least the deer are all sitting down, you know. You wake up and find yourself in a meadow. There is a deer dressed in a diaper suit, sitting at a small table, having tea and pastries. It asks, what are you doing here? How do you respond? I was bored. I wanted to fool around a little. Who are you? Where am I? Is this a dream? I followed my intuition and it led me here. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure where here is. I wanted to go somewhere nice and comforting. I'm feeling tired. I need a place to stop and rest. Yeah, I wanted to go someplace nice and comforting. You look around the meadow. To the north, there is a mysterious forest. To the east, a vast expanse of hills and clouds. To the south, a desert village. To the west, a simple door seemingly leading to nowhere. Go to the forest, go to the hills, go to the village, go to the door. Stay and have tea with the deer. I want to wake up now. Honestly, I suppose if I was to go anywhere. Okay, to the east, a, a vast expanse of hills and clouds. To the south, a deserted village. To the west, a single door. Okay, the good thing about hills is it's open. You can kind of see for miles around. So you can see if you're heading towards something. I don't really want to go to a deserted village. I want to go to like a city or a town or a place where you can get help. So I suppose I would go to the hills. But then going to the forest, you could get things that could help you survive going to the door maybe you'll get me out of this place am I or do I want to wake up I suppose I'll go to the hills suddenly you see an animal it smiles at you and you wake up what animal did you see a mythical creature a mythical creature for sure I was just thinking of like some mythical being. Welcome to Auntie's toy shop of the abandoned and the bizarre. What will you buy? It's got Resident Evil 2. That is so cool. Matt and I played Resident Evil 2. It's a pretty good game. This thing, I don't know. It was something at one point. A Dr. Seuss book from my childhood. How did she get this? It has my name on it and everything. A pink ceramic tea set to have tea with plants and animals. Oh, yes. Yes. A book of dirty baby doll heads. They are creepy and I love it. A small bit to be better in need of some love. An empty kaleidoscope so I can see things that are hiding from plain sight. Yes. I could do with that. Choose a Dr. Seuss painting. Wow, these are gorgeous. I don't know why, but I, it, even though I didn't choose the forest, I feel like I keep going back to it. Isn't that fascinating? That's fascinating, and this is fascinating too. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear me. I like this one. Some crazy trees. None of this is real. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Okay, okay, okay. I'll choose this one. <sighs> Alright. You have experienced a bizarre and inexplicable event while you're not alone. Glitch in space time. One can often find little ripples and folds in reality. What are they? You think about it often. Animals in odd locations, looming objects rising from out of the fog, strangely placed doors and staircases. What is beyond the limits of this reality? How much is reality and how much isn't? It's all the same. It's scary yet intriguing and comforting. Ah, oh, I, I quite like that. Um, how do you compare Glitch in space and time. Oh, so these are the other ones. I can't remember. It hurts. I'm not supposed to be here. Dreamland, something I almost forgot about. Chaos and glitch in space time. Oh, right, right, right. Ah, oh, it's too bad I didn't get like Dreamland, but yeah, I think that's fun. I like glitch in space and time. 
Okay, so I think that will be all for today. There's one more quiz, and I think because of how long it took me to get through this one, I'll most likely do that on a completely different day. <laughs> do tune in and do subscribe if you want to see me do that one as well. And as always, many days be magical. I'll see you in the next time. Bye-bye.